Alright, so in our previous video, we've looked at how we can show and hide content based on the membership access level. For example, in here we're showing pro bonus to the pro user and we're hiding the advertisement. Now let's see how we could have a locked variant of this element, for example. Instead of completely hiding it, right, we could have something that says this is a pro only content upgrade in order to get access. This is a UX pattern that I've seen a lot, especially in uh, component libraries for Framer. So it might be useful. Okay. For example, you could have courses and you want to still show the name of the course, but you want to have a locked state, locked variant. So in this video, we'll explore how we could do this. Okay. So let's head to Framer. I've added an extra pro bonus locked element in here, variant. So it's hidden by default. Go to visibility and make it visible. So someone that doesn't have access to pro, they'll see this one, okay? And there is an upgrade to view content button. Okay, so let's see how we could do this. First, let's link this button to the correct pop-up link. For this, let's go to Add Setup, go to Add, Embeds, and go to Profile. Now, the embed type is pop-up, default view, we want it to be change plan. And you want to select a plan by default, which is the pro plan. Okay. Click install embed and copy this code right here. In Framer, on the link. Okay, so I click this one, the link in here. Just paste the link. Pop. Okay. And now this should link to our, our profile. Okay. Let's give it a try. I'm going to delete this override. Refresh. So now if we click here, it will take us directly to change our plan to pro. So we could click complete change and it will change our plan. Okay. So now, now let's see how we could hide this for pro users, right? Because they're already subscribed and uh, show this only for starter and free users. Okay. So now we're showing it for everyone because we don't have a code override here, right? Previously, we learned how to apply data pro, data free, data starter, right? But now in this case, we want to show this to both free and starter. So we need to create a new override for this. Let's just duplicate one of these. So free, pro or starter, whichever one. I'm going to duplicate free. Okay. And I'm going to rename it to with data free and starter okay so this thing will show for free and starter plans so we previously we've added our id right this is our free plan id since we duplicated free go to your starter code override and copy your starter id okay now again to free and starter, we need to add an extra ID, but we need to add a comma before. So we add comma and our starter ID. So now we're saying, show me this content that has this override applied to both free and starter users. Okay. 
command S to save our override. Now we've created an override that applies to free and starter. You could do the same if it creates something for only pro and starter. Call it pro and starter and add the two IDs. Don't forget the comma. So now in this case, this pro content selected and you give it this override, which is data free and starter. Okay. So this will only be shown for free and starter. All right. Now pro bonus, we've already applied with data pro. So this is only seen by pro users. So this is how you show two variants. Let's give it a test. Publish. Again, refresh our page. Right now we're a free user, as you can see, and free, which is why we're seeing advertisement and it's saying content is locked, upgrade. So let's give it a try. Let's upgrade. And now two things happen. First, we don't have advertisement anymore, right? And second, this variant changed to the pro bonus variant, right? So this is it. This is how you could have locked and unlocked variant. This is very powerful. You could use it for creating a course, for example. Or if you're selling components and you want to still show the user a variant, a locked variant. So that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, click like, and if you have any question, ask in the comments below. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.